We're here at the Thermal Baths, got our own little balcony. We are here at the Danube River in Budapest, about to go on a dinner cruise. Yo guys, we're here at Simpla Kurtz, one of the ruin bars here in Budapest, Hungary. Hey Jaycationers, welcome back to Budapest. Please enjoy this virtual travel video through this amazing city. We are here in Hero Square in Budapest, Hungary with the Budapest sign and the Hero Monument. Hero Square is located at the end of Andrazi Avenue, a street in Budapest that is compared to the Champs-Élysées in Paris. Hero Square is famous for its tribute to the seven chieftains of the Magyars who were Hungarian leaders from the past. All right guys, so we're here at the most popular thermal spa you've seen it on vacation before about to go in put on our swimming trunks and do some swimming a visit to the thermal baths when in budapest is a definite fun time and must do activity i'm very happy that you are here uh, welcome so i'm gonna try to say this right for the first time say cheney baths say cheney upon entry to the most popular bath in budapest you will be greeted with one of the most impressive lobbies you'll ever experience with unique yellow walls with statues and chandeliers hanging over you. For 22 to 24 euros, you'll be treated to an amazing Hungarian pastime. So we're here with AFWB, we got like the all access pass with the wristbands, the towel, and yeah, this is the front entrance and usually, I don't know how much it costs, let's go take a look. So I'm gonna list right here below how much it costs to enter it's general admission Boom. One fifty four. <laughs> thank you so we all get our lockers you scan it then it tells you the number i'm 154 so we're gonna 154 get my own private locker there. 151 after safely placing my belongings in the locker, I put on my swim trunks and filmed around for a while before putting my camera away and enjoying the thermal bath experience. So this is awesome. We're here at the thermal bath, got our own little balcony, nice little uh, locker room. Didn't get that last time, all I had was this small locker, but this time around got this pretty cool uh, little private uh, fitting room. Check that out. So this is the outdoor area and then over on the other side is the indoor area where everybody goes to hang out in the thermal baths. Alright, so we out here hanging out by the outdoor pools. These dudes are freezing their butts off. It's like 40 degrees right now. Everybody be chilling in there. Right? Boy. <laughs> the most unique time to be around the thermal baths is when it's cold and the water starts to steam. On my last trip, this section of the baths was closed, but I hopped in and it turned out to be the warmest part. Going in, let's go. Yo, this, is this video was obviously filmed before the pandemic hit in 2020 when people were still allowed to gather in large groups. It's amazing how times have changed. Thing where you can go in a little current. <laughs> Since my GoPro was unfortunately not working, I had to settle for a flashback to 2017. You know, I'll probably do it for the vlog right now just to walk around, but I'm gonna put this away because I don't got the waterproof case. So I'm gonna put this thing away and hang out a little bit, get warm. Although you'll most likely be visiting this bath during the cold months, it has its advantages with various medicinal and therapeutic pools that can help improve your health if used the right way. We're here chilling inside the thermal pool. It's cool, it's cold outside, so I'll just go inside and hang out. Being inside also has its advantages. Even if you prefer the outdoors, the inside of the thermal baths has beautiful columns and a unique ambiance that takes you back to another time and place. You can also enjoy a beer bath if that's your thing. This is like a warmer one. It's really good. 
everybody's just chilling, trying to heat up. We got a fellow Filipina here. What's your name again? Sabrina. Sabrina, what's up? She's from Budapest. I'm really confused, like, what? I'm so surprised, like, I... I just put down the camera for a few hours and went swimming. No videos. You know, sometimes you just gotta relax, so... Thanks to the thermal bats. Hi guys, so we're just done with the thermal bats here. The most famous one. I'm not gonna butcher the name again, but we're headed over to a Danube River boat cruise. I gotta go to the hotel first and change, get out of this and we'll take a little shower. Yo, what's up, Jaycationers? We are here at the Danube River in Budapest. I'm about to go on a dinner cruise down to Danube. Check out all the beautiful lights and all the beautiful buildings that this part of Hungary has to offer. Really excited to check out the food, so please subscribe, hit that like button, and if you have any questions about these river cruises, let me know. On this night, we boarded the Armada Budapest. The Armada specializes in events for large groups such as AFWB, weddings, and other fun-filled events. Check out their website in the description box below if you're interested in booking a dinner cruise. In order to enter our particular boat that night, we had to walk through a couple of boats until we reached the Prestige where we were greeted with a feast and some cocktails. I just walked into the boat, tour, got this little champagne going. My boy Scott Yaffe back in the house. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, we're gonna come in here and have a little nice dinner. I like the spread they got over here. The spread was definitely impressive, filled with desserts like chestnut puree, fresh fruits, and plenty of Hungarian delights to fill us up during this once-in-a-lifetime dinner cruise along the beautiful Danube River. Shout out to Hungarian Antique Pine and Dan and Joseph for hosting us this night. After settling in with some champagne, it's time for a small food tour with my friend Brett Hundley. Alright, food vlog bro. Real food? A lot of meat. This is like a uh, charcuterie plate. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I don't know what that is. Maybe a meatloaf. And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna break the rules, JK, while you're filming. I knew this guy. Thank you for coming over here. Welcome on the boat and the board. And also, thank you for coming to uh, teach the Hungarian uh, players, you know, this weekend. It's very nice of you. We're just starting to take a tour around, you know, the uh, river. Thank and you. The food. Thank you. Now for dinner. We started off with chicken soup and then moved on to the Mangelica tenderloin wrapped in bacon. It was amazing. Right next to it was the rice and mashed potatoes. In this case, I went with the mashed potatoes and then the red wine beef stew, which was the most popular dish. The couscous was also a healthy alternative, which you will learn more about in my Romania video coming up. We also had some chicken, some fingerling potatoes as Brett would call it, and some pasta along with some cheese. As for me, I started off my dinner with some chicken noodle soup and then moved on to the salad that I mixed in with various cured meats and enjoyed a mixed plate of mangalica pork and mashed potatoes. Finally, I rounded out the meal with a glass of house white wine. Just had a great dinner, now trying some Hungarian white wine. I was on IR for a year, but you know, only really it was a lot sweeter. During an after dinner, we were treated to the most amazing views around the Danube River. Let's take a moment to enjoy the scenery of Budapest's most beautiful creations.
make sure to be up on the top deck when passing the famous Shecheni Chain Bridge as you will be treated to an amazing perspective of the bridge followed by a view of the famous Gellert Baths which I have yet to visit but also here is an amazing thermal bath that is located inside a hotel. This cruise definitely delivers with the views and gives you a feeling that only traveling to this part of the world or seeing virtually can satisfy. After cruising south of the river, the boat turned around and headed back. So it looks like it's pretty dark right now, but we're here on the Danube River looking at Parliament and it's just beautiful. Hopefully you guys can see me and I'm not just a shadow, but yeah. This, this river cruise is amazing. After a fun night cruising the Danube, we headed for some nightlife at Budapest's most popular ruin bar. Yo guys, we're here at Simla Kurt, one of the ruin bars here in uh, Budapest, Hungary. About to go in and you know, have a few drinks and party. Let's go. This ruin bar was built in the early 2000s and quickly became the hottest hangout spot in Budapest. Filled with unique art and an apocalyptic setting, Simplikert is the perfect place to grab some Hungarian beer and hang out with friends. It's also an opportunity to show off your dance moves or not. Like I said in a previous video, we ended our nights in Budapest with Donor Kebab. We found one of many Donor Kebab spots still open late, only about a 10 minute walk away from our hotel in the Aquincum area. Thank God for Google Maps for finding this place. All right guys, so that's it from this awesome river cruise on the Danube. Beautiful views of the parliament, Buda Castle, the chain bridge, and Gellert Hill. If you guys like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and JK. If you're looking for more videos about Budapest, Hungary, please check out my Budapest travel series.